guest on the show. His name is Chad Gunner, and he's a Saints fan. We gonna talk to him, y'all. Welcome, Mr. Chad Gunner. Welcome to the show. Man, thanks for having me on, man. I know you don't normally rock with the Saints fans, and for you to let me on your show, Cleo is live. Look, man, it's a dream come true. So, uh, what are we gonna talk about today, Cleo? Yeah, Mr. Gunner, first question is, why do you have them little foots? Are you the smallest foots guy that represents the Saints? No, oh, man. No, that's Possum Son, man. Nah, he ain't no Saints fan. Yeah, he is. Well, look, man, you trying to embarrass me in front of my son? You don't think you're going to check me on my show? You're not going to check me on my own show? Next question, Mr. Gunner. Yeah. Is it true that Tom Vincent was going to hire Byron and Jones Funeral Home to build Coffin? They said Byron built Coffin good. Is that true? Nah, man, I, I think, I, what kind of interview is this, man? I, I, I think I think he do the embalming. I don't think he really, you know, yeah, he just do the embalming. Next. Since you related to Roland Gunner, right? You have to be because y'all got the same name. Why is he posting so much? Why is he posting for the Cowboys? We don't like him. And I don't have nothing to do with Roland Gunner Jr. and all that texting and stuff, man. All that Facebook posts, I don't have nothing to do with that, Cleophus. You need to get off my back about that, man. I'm a Saints fan. You need to leave me alone, man. Really. I'm a, I'm... Why are you still trying to flex on me, ain't you? Just don't flex on Cleophus, baby. I got to put them paws on you. Now give him some time to put his hat back on. Don't play with Cleophus, boy. You ready for the next round of questions? Get your hat, son. Get your hat. You okay? I tell you, you okay? Yeah, don't, don't flex on me. You flex on me a little bit, I slap you. I won't slap you no more. I won't slap you no more. I'll give you two strikes. I'll give you two strikes. Okay, next question. Now, we have a number one fan. His name is Ron Hawkins. And he talk a certain way. And I'm not sure if that's authentic. Did Ron Hawkins talk like that? He uh, grew up in the suburbs, right? Man, don't don't hit me no more, bro. Don't hit me no more, and I'm good. But look, man, I, I answered the question about Ron Hawkins, man. Ron Hawkins is one of my closest friends. He is probably, you know, one or two in the Cowboy fan. But, you know, he, he didn't grow up in the suburbs, man. He grew up in a, I think his house was made out of straw. Or um, maybe uh, matches or something. I, I knew it wasn't a good house. It was kind of a raggedy house. So, Mr. Gano. They tell me that Claire was going to get on for security for the Saints. However, she had a mysterious background where she was really about that life. Shoot him up, bang, bang. Shoot him up, bang, bang. You're slamming this around. Is that true? And everybody was really scared of Claire, man. Claire shoot at anything, man. Claire was about that murder life, bro. Yeah, so I don't really want to talk about that, man, because I'm probably getting some kind of trouble just talking about it. So let's, can we move on to the next question? They tell me that your friend, Kyler Burton, and your brother, Big Cheese, Ronald Gunner, they really was not really that hard when they were little. They said they were pretty soft, but they both claim to never been in trouble. Is that true? I think they've been to jail, right? They've been to yeah, jail? Yeah, Cheese, he did go to jail one time. He probably don't tell those kids that, but yeah, he went to jail before on campus, yeah. Yeah, Conley, Conley uh, man, he probably go to jail at uh, Kendall Morgan soon, you know, because, you know, he worked with all those guys with that, Marvin and all of them, and, but Conley always mad. They, they trying to figure him out, I'm sure, but, you know, nobody could figure that guy out, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, he'll end up in, incarcerated, yeah. As a young Saints fan, who was the craziest guy who you knew represented the Saints? I mean, insane. Who was insane? I don't know, man. Probably the craziest one. Probably Jap. Yeah, Jap probably was the craziest one. You know? Yeah. We have one out of time. Next time we bring Chad Gunner on, we will ask him about Tisha beating up the whaling in the back of Miss Point Buff truck. Why Brett twist when he walked? Why Dank ran his car into the apartment? And knock the TV down as Eric Joe the white TV. Big Boy versus 
all the coach, him and P.I., that's the thing we're going to talk about. But for now, Chad, I'll give you a word, and I'll come back and wrap it up. Thanks for having me on the show, Cleophas. I appreciate it, man. You know, I can't wait to come back. I appreciate you having me on being on Cleophas Live. Bro, that's a big deal, man. It's the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. You know, I want to give a shout-out to Mr. Vernville. He is Vernville. Big Russell, get well soon. I can't wait to come back, man. Thanks again. Peace. Thanks for watching today. Next week, tune in to Cleopas Live from Dallas, where we'll talk to Connie Burton about having a dead body of Derrick Jones on his wall in his kid's room. Also, we'll go out to Burtonville and we'll talk to Uncle Gilbert, where he would tell me how he used to knock people out with Alibar when I was a little boy. And you can watch the documentary. It's called 290 and RJ Boys. That's Clean Clifton. The Good Life. Tractor than dirt. By yourself. Cowboys ain't really good. <laughs>